everyone, this is Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise and welcome to another Wild Wednesday mini-series. This mini-series is talking all about the Silhouette Cameo and it's just going to be a beginner basics, getting you started kind of a series and in a later series this I will cover more in-depth tutorials and I'll probably sprinkle in some other Silhouette Cameo tutorials here and there. But for this mini-series for March, I'm just going to be talking about how to get started, basically to get you confidently using your Silhouette Cameo. If you don't know what the Silhouette Cameo is, it is an electronic die-cutting machine. Electronic die-cutting machines differ from manual die-cutting machines in that all of the cuts are either programmed inside your computer or inside of a cartridge. The Cameo system works off of a computer. So I've got my laptop here open to the Silhouette Studio program. You can see my window in the background. When I'm using the screen, I will do a screen tutorial showing it. So you can see I'm using a computer. I have my computer set to the side here. And the way it works, you just flip open your Silhouette Cameo, turn it on, plug it into the computer. It cuts on these mats, and this is a brand new mat here. You just peel off this little blue thing, and then your paper sticks to the sticky stuff on the mat. And then the blade will cut. So I'm going to show you guys using a mat I already have here. And this mat has been well used. You can see it's got lots of cuts in it. I tend to make sure that my cuts go all the way through my paper and I'm not left with any fuzzies so I end up sometimes getting some cuts on my mat. This mat is very well loved but that's okay. It still works great. What you do is you stick your paper on the mat wherever you want it. And I'm going to just stick it here in this top corner. I always rub over the paper just to make sure that it's secure. That way it won't come off during cutting. And I'm going to get my machine set up. Okay, so this is a different day, but I'm going back because I didn't really talk about the blade very much. It just snaps into this little compartment, and you click it over. It makes like two little clicky sounds. One, two. And that's when it's open and closed. So this is what the blade housing looks like. It's got numbers on the rim, and you just set it to the number that you want. They recommend a number based on whatever you're cutting out. But I like mine on seven at makes it really deep and make sure it gets through my thicker cardstock. To change this setting here, you have to click it into this little hole and there's a little arrow here. There's a little arrow there telling you what number it's clicking into. So mine's clicking into seven and I can just move it and it clicks the number to a different blade setting. When the blades get worn or anything, you can actually take the blades out and replace them. And the machine comes with instructions to do that. So I just wanted to show you guys the blade housing a little bit and talk about it because I had missed that when I was filming before. To stick the blade back in, you just drop it in and click it over those two times and you're good to go. I've got to plug this USB into my laptop. Or if in your case, it might be a desktop computer. And then you also have to plug in the power. So both of the cords are back here on the machine. So there's the USB one, and this is going to be the power cord. I'm going to have to finagle this. This isn't the usual way I use this machine. So I've got to kind of get the cords out of my way. And we are ready to do some cutting. I am in the Silhouette program. The actual Silhouette machine comes with Silhouette Studio program, and this is Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. The biggest difference is I can cut SVG files out, and I will talk about SVG files in another part of this series, but I'm just covering some of the basics today. So here is what the mat looks like, and you just put your cuts on this mat, and then send them to your Silhouette Cameo. So to make things simple, I'm just going to draw a simple circle here. I've got the circle tool, and I'm going to hold down the shift button with my finger, and it'll make a perfect circle here. So that I just drew. I'm going back to that select cursor so I can move this circle. And I'm just going to position it on my mat just like that and then send it to cut. There's obviously way more things you can cut than just a circle. I just went super basic with this. You can also do text by using this little text area. You can also go to the Silhouette Library like this and there's lots of shapes already programmed in and you can also purchase more shapes from the Silhouette website. And so you can have lots and lots of options but here is my mat. I've got my circle. I'm ready to cut. Then I'm going to go up here 
to this little symbol and hit send to silhouette. So my silhouette's not turned on yet, so it's going to say could not connect to silhouette. So I've got to turn on my silhouette machine. I'm turning on my machine so I'm ready to cut. I've got my paper already connected. There is a little notch here that's got two little arrows pointing towards it. That's where you line up your mat to cut. I'm going to line up the edge of my mat with that same line with the two arrows on it. Got my mat lined up with my rollers and then I'm going to hit load cutting mat. There's two options here. There's load cutting mat and load media. We're going to use load cutting mat and hit enter. It just sucks up your mat. So back to my computer now. Since my machine's plugged in, I'm just going to X out of that and send it to Silhouette Cameo again. And now I can cut. My settings are for cardstock. I've got the speed at 5, the thickness at 33, and then my blade depth is 7 on my blade. And those are the settings that I like for my cardstock because I use a little bit thicker cardstock. And I'm going to hit cut. It's going to send it to the machine and cut out my circle. Alright, it's done. So now I can hit enter again because it says unload on the screen. And now I've got a circle. And cut it out. How easy is that? Super cool. There are a lot of different die cutters on the market and there are a couple of reasons why I went with the Silhouette Cameo. The Silhouette Company has a great reputation. Their machines have really good cutting quality. I've heard great things about the machine, so I wanted a machine long before I actually got one because I'd heard just wonderful things about how wonderful they cut. And so I decided to go with Silhouette Cameo because they are not a cartridge-based system like the Cricut. And you can work with any SVGs out there. And also Silhouette has a great store with tons and tons of cut files in their store and their design program has a lot of different functionality so I was pleased with them overall and that's why I went with their machine versus something else I had had a Cricut and I was not completely happy with the cutting quality on my Cricut I got a lot of papers that were a little bit wonky like there's no edge around here that didn't line up where with my Cricut there would be a little section where the blade didn't exactly line up all the way around so it would go around cut around and then there would be like this section that didn't line up where the two cuts met but you don't get that with this silhouette cameo hardly ever so I've had really good cutting quality with my machine I absolutely love it I just wanted to kind of explain what the machine was what it does and Bob the Canary is about to start singing again. He's kind of warning us, so I've got to cut this off. Um, but in my next video, I will talk more about how to get cuts, how to find SVG files, and why you need Designer Studio. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like us on Facebook, and all that great stuff. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.